हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द शो बॉटम्स ऑफ रिसर्च विथ हर्षित तोष्णीवाल दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ डीप डाइव ऑन हॉस्पिटल सेक्टर वी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू कवर 10 ऑफ इट्स लार्जेस्ट लिस्टेड नेम्स इट्स अ सेवन पार्ट वीडियो सो फॉर बेस्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू हैव अ लुक एट ऑल द सेवन एंड वन एडिशनल थिंग इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल देन प्लीज लाइक इट सब्सक्राइब इट एंड शेयर इट विद मोर पीपल लेट अस स्टार्ट नाउ सो इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट Three important things. One, what is the overall healthcare spend of India, and what are the key segment where it gets spent? For example, hospitals, diagnostics, pharmaceuticals. Two, we are going to look at the broad disease profiles, uh, and what is the signs of that particular disease profile referred to. And three, we are going to understand the case mix for hospitals. When I say case mix, mix it basically means the revenue profile uh, of the various hospitals. with respect to the nature of diseases which they cater to so let's start first part overall healthcare spend in india is roughly around 5 lakh crore uh, that forms a number equivalent to around 3% of the overall gdp this number is much smaller compared to many of the developed nations so if we look at us the the healthcare spending as a percentage of gdp for them is around 16% for uk that number is around 10% for countries like singapore etc it's around 4 to 5% uh, so what happens is that as the economic profile of india improves as the per capita gdp improves then the allocation of healthcare spend in the overall gdp is also expected to go up that's point 1 and point 2 is that when we look at the 5 lakh crore of overall spend and try to segment that what are the key areas where it gets spent so hospital forms around 60% of the overall spending roughly around 3 lakh crore this is a 2019 data so obviously it would have increased vis-a-vis -vis 2019 uh, as on 2022 uh, but this is the latest available numbers so when we say of this 3 lakh crore this includes even the pharmacy and the diagnostic piece which is there within the hospitals another 10% of the overall healthcare spending is towards the diagnostic centers these centers are the ones which are organized and unorganized examples of dr lalpat lab metropolis etc 20% of the overall healthcare spend goes to the domestic pharmaceutical uh, consumption this includes both manufacturers like dr reddy uh, glenmark etc plus it also includes the distributors of those pharma products example med plus wellness forever etc and the last component is of medical devices that forms roughly around 10% of the overall spend that's largely b2b in the nature so any pet ct scanner x ray machines which hospital needs to buy so the transactions and all that gets covered into the medical devices part let us also have a look at the overall infrastructure adequacy in india so we have around 19 lakh hospital beds in the country of which around 12 lakh are in the private sector and around 7 lakh beds are in the government sector one of the key measures to compare countries on the hospital infra adequacy is bed density what does hospital bed density implies is that for every 10000 population what is the number of hospital beds available in the country we have around 15 beds as our bed density versus a global average of around 30 so there is room to improve this towards a much nearer number to the global peers even if i compare the doctors and the nurses right so when we look at india we have around 9 doctors for every 10000 people versus 17 which is the global average for nurses we have around 17 nurses for every 10000 people versus around 40 nurses globally this gives a brief on the overall healthcare spend and clearly the larger picture is that as the economic profile improves the overall healthcare spending as a percentage of the gdp or as a percentage of the overall spend of an individual that is going to increase uh, in the second part we cover broadly the anatomy of human body idea is not to learn everything about these diseases but to but just to internalize the terms and the various signs uh, this now these terms get used a lot when we look at any hospital uh, when we look at which specialization is there for a particular hospital so let's move from top to bottom when we look anything that is related to brains or nerves that comes under the science neurology things related to lungs 
so any respiratory disease as like asthma influenza that covers under the science of pulmonology when we we'll talk of anything related to hormones then that comes under the science of endocrinology uh, example diabetes etc and uh, just to uh, give a reference diabetes is basically when the level of un- insulin in the body reduces insulin is uh, secreted by pancreas insulin is the particular hormone that keeps our blood sugar under check if the amount of insulin is lower then the problem of diabetes starts and that is something which co- gets covered in the under the science of endocrinology similarly when we look at anything related to intestines large intestine small intestine then that science is known as gastrointestinal science things related to kidney the science is known as renal or nephrology anything related to heart is covered under cardiovascular sciences now these are the larger ones we have also many other specialties like ophthalmology for eyes pediatric for child care obstetric study for mother care uh, for cancer the overall studies come comes under the science of oncology anything which is to do with the bones is looked after by an orthopedic doctor i just try to cover few of the larger ones clearly each vertical would have further sub verticals but the idea is just to throw up the broader names and the reason is that when we move to the cause of death analysis it helps us to make a picture now overall deaths in india in a typical year is around 70 to 80 lakhs there are three large reasons of death one is the communicable diseases like di- diarrhea tuberculosis pneumonia etc it forms around 28% of the overall death causes this number and this percentage has been coming down as the medical system is advancing there are more vaccines then the reason of death being communicable diseases is something which is expected to go down but what is increasing as a percentage is the non communicable diseases it forms around 60% of the overall uh, cause of death and when we say non communicable diseases it largely refers to the lifestyle related diseases like cardiovascular diseases Uh, cancer diabetes hypertension etc and the balance 10% of the death is typically because of unfortunate reasons like accidents suicides etc now from our analysis point of view what is important to understand is that over the last two decades one of the most common and uh, and, and in terms of share it was highest it was contributing the highest to the overall deaths was cardiovascular diseases right now it forms around 28% of the overall deaths and this number is large uh, the second highest one is cancer today which forms around 8% of the overall reasons for death and when we look at cancer it is one of the most fastest growing non communicable disease so this percentage of uh, cancer is expected to increase from 8% to around 10 to 12% over the next 5 to 6 years so this is a broad uh, summary of the cause of death analysis and now we we move towards the understanding what are the different disease profiles uh, for various hospitals before that let me touch upon one point the difference between multi speciality and single speciality hospital as term suggests it's very intuitive single speciality is something which focuses on one particular disease profile for example hcg 95% of their business comes from oncology which is why they are referred to as a single speciality hospital taking the case of an agarwal's eye clinic for them 100% of their business comes from ophthalmology uh, so which is why it's a single speciality hospital when we look at rainbow hospitals uh, 100% of its business comes from mother and child care which is why it is referred to under the head of single speciality shalbi uh, was started by dr vikram shah he is one of the most famous orthopedic surgeon which is why shalbi started off as a ortho uh, first hospital chain but over time it has started diversifying itself now it has a mix of cardiac it has a mix of oncology within its overall revenue but still ortho remains uh, one of the largest in its overall disease mix broadly this is how single speciality refers to which focuses or which is known for any particular speciality on the other hand multi speciality are the ones which have a much diversified mix of the overall disease profile within the system uh, and there is an advantage 
for multi speciality hospital versus single speciality hospital advantages with respect to footfalls right let us understand this through an example if there is any particular emergency or an accident then the first thing that the person is going to do is to go to a hospital like maybe fortis or medanta where he is not aware of what exactly the problem will come out to be uh, whether it's a hip replacement knee replacement which he will need whether he will need a uh, sub, whether he will need something which is more related to the nerves or where exactly the damage has happened so without that knowledge he would prefer to go to a multi speciality hospital where he has the option of getting treated for any other thing uh so all the emergency cases that typically gets diverted towards a multi speciality t and even if shalbi is an hospital which is known for its orthopedic capabilities uh but if someone has already gone to a fortis hospital and the doctor suggests some knee replacement or hip replacement then the patient is most likely going to do that within that hospital itself so which is why footfall is an advantage for multi speciality versus single speciality there is a third type where a single speciality hospital becomes very famous in itself so take the example of tata memorial right tata memorial is known for its cancer treatment and doctors right so if you are a single speciality and you are one of the uh, major brands in that then that gives you a very big advantage because even if you go to a multi speciality hospital initially you would always want to get yourself consulted in a single speciality which is known for that particular disease now when we look at the major multi speciality hospitals in india max fortis kims medanta narayana even apollo uh, for that matter cardiac forms a very crucial part for most of them why as you see saw that in the cause of death cardiac is one of the largest reasons for death and which is why most of these hospitals were started by some of the other famous cardiac surgeon when we look at narayana it was started by devi shetty vedanta was started by dr naresh trehan uh, apollo was started by dr pratap reddy and all of them are famous cardiac surgeons uh, to start with but obviously over time they have diversified their revenue profile across all diseases now if we look at max for example they are doing very good in oncology which forms around 23% of their revenue and they have a very balanced mix of cardiac renal neuro and orthopedic uh, disease profile when we look at fortis again cardiac forms 20% of the revenue but then they have a fair share of renal onco neuro and ortho in their overall mix kims uh has slightly higher orthopedic mix but that is because of its acquisition of sunshine hospitals we have to cover that in later detail but otherwise it has a 20% mix of cardiac and the other part is neurosurgery which forms around 12% of its overall revenue these three are the large contributing pieces when we look at medanta and narayana their mix of cardiac is still around 25 to 35 percent which are much relatively higher than their other uh, multi-speciality peers but at the same point of time they have diversified uh, now onco forms around 10 to 12 percent of their overall uh, revenue similarly neuro forms around 8 to 12 percent of the overall revenue and gastric forms around 12 percent of the overall revenue so the idea of this section was to give a broad sense of the disease profile for various indian hospitals for apollo we don't have the data ready uh, they don't disclose it uh, in their overall presentation so in this uh, part we discussed about healthcare spend the disease profile and the case mix for various hospitals uh, overall in the coming parts we are also going to discuss about the customer profile the economics of hospital uh the different listed players we are going to do a landscaping for them and finally the stock friends princess so thanks a lot for uh, viewing stay tuned hi friends so i come to an end to this part of my presentation and like hospitals i wish to cover more number of sectors over time uh, i've done a similar work on cement industry uh, the link to that is in the description below would love to hear your feedback and any other sector you want me to cover but have a great day thank you